Day 556. Today there is a lot of news from the south. First of all, Ukrainians conducted a marine drone strike in the vicinity of the Kerch Bridge in Crimea. However, the target of this strike was not the bridge itself, but rather the Russian Black Sea fleet that was patrolling the area. Russian sources reported that Ukrainians used three drones in their night attack on the warship at Levy, and that one of them was close to exploding near the ship itself. Some sources mentioned that the drones attacked from the area with a lot of civilian ships to complicate the identification of the drone. But what is even more interesting is that Russian soldiers reported that they saw a Ukrainian aerial drone that was surveilling the area from Cape Takil. All these facts strongly indicate that the strike was organized and conducted from the territory of the Russian Federation or Crimea. Such a development shows that Russian security level is low not only in the regions that are far from the front lines and live normal everyday lives, but even on those territories that are relatively close to the front line and have objects of strategic significance that the Ukrainians are constantly striking. Cape Takil is only 20 kilometers from the Courage Bridge that has been damaged multiple times over the last year. So, as some Russian analysts mentioned, either Ukrainians have an unlimited audacity or the Russian level of security is indeed pitiful. But the biggest news comes from the Tokmak direction. After the loss of Robotina, Russian sources started circulating information about the Russian plans and claimed that the retreat from Robotina was done to allow Ukrainians to get deep inside the pocket to close it in the future with as many Ukrainians as possible. Russians also conducted an information operation and released fake documents to claim that Ukrainians received an order to kill every Russian soldier that surrenders. The goal of this information operation is to scare Russian troops and force them to fight till the end instead of surrendering. Unfortunately for Russians, today they lost the most powerful fortification south of Robotina anyway. At noon, Russian sources confirmed that Ukrainians breached the so-called fortification boot. If you look at the topographic map, we can see that this position is also located on a hill, making it a formidable strong point. Interestingly, Ukrainians also did it after they deprioritized this direction and started focusing on Verbova. The reason why Ukrainians still managed to establish control over this position lies in the fact that the commander of the units on the ground was very patient and closely monitored how and when Russians were rotating their troops. When he collected all the necessary information, he prepared a small Ukrainian assault unit that caught them by surprise right during rotation and established total control over the fortification in minutes. Some Russian sources claim that this was the last powerful Ukrainian attack because there are no more troops and equipment left, while others gave a milder prognosis and claim that Ukrainians have forces maximum for one more powerful push. The Ukrainian side indirectly responded to this information operation by releasing a video with dozens of Western tanks, claiming that there are still a lot of resources and that Russians are yet to see a powerful attack. And this is partially true because so far Ukrainians were facing extremely dense minefields that they needed to slowly and methodically pass and demine. But now as Ukrainians already breached the second line of defense at least at two points, some Russian analysts started talking about the possibility of a more extensive use of tanks and heavy equipment, especially when Ukrainians get closer to the third line of defense south of Verbova. And the Russian high command seems to understand that Russian forces may not be able to withstand the pressure, especially given that the pace of Ukrainian advancement is gradually but steadily increasing. That is why, as reported by the head of Ukrainian intelligence Krylo Bodanov, the Russian military deployed elements of the newly formed 25th Combined Arms Army to the front. Interestingly, this new army was created as a part of a long-term objective to increase the size of the military. However, due to the horrible situation on the front, Russians had to urgently send them to the front. According to Ukrainian intelligence, the 25th Combined Arms Army would not be combat-ready until at least 2024. Right now the formation is severely understaffed, not near the strength of two divisions, and on top of that did not complete the training. The 25th Army is supposed to substitute forces in the Luhansk region, while severely degraded but at least experienced troops from the 41st Army are being deployed toward Tokmak. If you are against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the line store is in the description. Thank you for watching. 
and I will see you in the next report.